Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to put together a quick flower journal to keep track of what I planted this year. So I went ahead and I pulled some papers out to make a quick journal. I'm going to cut it down. We're going to just do a long reach staple or binder for it. I'm not going to do um, any string or anything. I just want to have a, a fun little memory of what I planted this year so that when I look for next year's flowers, I can see what did well. I took regular scrapbook paper, some out of here, some more cardstock, and I'm just folding them in half. I am going to make a cover out of this wonderful handmade paper that I picked up in the city. And um, I think it's gonna be real pretty. I love this color and I haven't found any use for it yet. I bought it because I just loved it. And so now here's its moment to shine. What I'm gonna do first though, is I am going to cut these all down to be relatively the same size, probably the width of one of these uh, inserts just so that um, everything is a little more uniform and I will trim down the edges to make it more flush. And then when I'm done with that, we'll make some pockets. And I have some photos that I took of stuff that I bought so that it'll show up in here and I can see a visual. So the first thing I want to do is I folded this one up to make a pocket. I have these guys. I'm gonna measure the the width of this, which is probably about eight and a half. Nope, it's actually nine. So I am going to nine and a quarter. This one could be a little shorter. Okay, so I'm gonna start at nine and a quarter. So I'm just gonna do a quick little trim get these all relatively the same size it's more for fun than for anything else I'll put these, I'll do these together all right so this one I hope it'll work Nope, we can't do two at the same time. So this is pretty boring stuff. I'll do a couple with you and then I'll just pause it and I'll come right back and we'll go to the next step just so you don't have to watch me. It's kind of like watching paint dry. I'll do one more here. Together at nine and a quarter. Okay, let me put you on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I trimmed them all off. These are my scraps. I'll use those for pockets and tucks maybe. And I'm going to come here and show you this part. Make sure we're on camera. This isn't a fancy setup, so I always have to check where we are. So here's a quick little flip through. I'm gonna center that one just a little bit. So I am going to now bulldog clip these. I'm not in the middle. Where's my pen? Okay. And then this side, I'm do down here. Quite where I'm 
So I do want to trim that side, but I want to measure for the cover after I trim. So that's why I'm trying to line it all up right now. Good enough. Like I said, this isn't fancy. This is going to help me next year. All right. So then I'm going to just. Nope, it's not working. It's not working the way I wanted to. So what I will do instead is I will, and I want the lip cover to be a little on the edge. So let's take a measurement here of the outside paper, which we know is nine and a quarter, but we want it to be should be twelve. Yeah, it should be twelve. Nine and a quarter by twelve. So I'm gonna take this gorgeous paper. I'm gonna need my regular scissors. gonna take this piece to give myself a rough idea so I'm not wasting a ton here I want a little bit of an edge so I'm just gonna rough cut I like it's uh it's a little deckled edges it's a little torn edges so I'm gonna give myself a little bit I'm not sure if I can tear it um, by hand or if I'll need a, like a wet brush to tear it. about how much I want on the edge. So let me see if I can't just We're going to try, let me get a paintbrush and some water. Be right back. Okay. I got a deco ruler here too. I don't know if that'll matter. So what I'm going to do is just wet this here. See if I can't moisten some of the fibers to make it a little more deckled. Mm. I mean, it's kind of working. Probably should have tried, figured this out off camera first, but I'm taking you guys along the ride with me. So it looks like it's tearing well where the, just the orange paper is and where the gold print on the top, I guess it's being just resistant a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do this 
shorter edge here. Make sure you can see me on camera. Then we're just, it's just water. Just gonna moisten the edge here. Get it on down in there. I'm going with the grain now. This feels a little more like what I want. A little more uniform, not so, not so big Terry, but all right. That is how it's going to be. dry up nicely and what I'm going to do is just give the fold in half burnish it down a little bit and let's decide which is our cover which is our top of our cover I'm going to do it this way. Pretty even. Okay, so now we're back in. And I'm just going to center this this way. And I'm going to use my long reach stapler. And then we will trim afterwards. So let me move my guide down. since this was 12 but that's going to be in the way all right we're going to wing it crafting on the fly I will turn it around upside down so that the entrance of the staple is on the back side we're going to just line this up on the edge, make sure you guys can see what I'm seeing. And so make sure my cover is good. I'm going to just scooch my cover a little this way with everything else intact. And then we're just stapling right on the fold. And then we will go and trim the edges. I'll pull the cover down a little bit to the, so we don't trim the cover and leave it at length. And I'm just making sure that my staple is on the fold. Perfect. All right. So there's our staple points. And it is a booklet. Move that out of the way. Okay. What I want to do here is I want to trim these straighter. And I guess we'll look into the center. I'm going to move the cover out of the way. And I'm just going to line this up. Take the smallest of cuts first. Get rid of that. Pull this one back. Yeah, look at my single page. Right. 
this one as well. So let me take this one. And you don't have to do this. I'm just being fussy. Flip it to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And then this one, because it was long on the other side, I think it's good. We'll come right here. Being ambitious there, trying to get them off. Okay. Let's take a look. Good. Looks pretty good. A little long here. This yellow one. I'm just going to follow that line down and see if you guys are also, yeah. I'm going to take these two. hand snip this one little sliver right here. Okay. Alright, pretty good. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make a pocket right here. And this was one of the, the cut aparts that were in there. So I'm just going to put this on. I guess I'll ink the edge. And what I'm going to tuck all in this, I am um, going to adhere the photos, but I'm going to put some receipts, some of the growing markers that came with it. Um, I intend to maybe put a calendar in, say when I planted them, I have that stuff written in my uh, planner. But I think I'm gonna transfer it to here. Give this a notch. have this little seed packet. I think I'm going to make this a pocket as well. And it's sunflowers. I've got the little pockety part right here. Um, I'm going to ink this one. Let's find a spot for this. And I'm going to go grab some, I think some sunflower washi to put on as well. So I'm going to Glue these edges here while I can, while I'm thinking about it. Give them a chance to dry. Okay. I'm trying to 
best spot for that. Let me go grab my washi. bunch of these that have some sort of theming that is uh, either floral or gardening. There's one in red. Okay. Okay. Let's find a good spot for you. blank so let's jazz this up we can get a little yellow paper behind it pull my little scraps out although blue is nice too because of the blue there or green I'll pull those as well Make some greens and some blues make a pocket within a pocket. So it's kind of like that. I don't like that one. So this is how I store a lot of my scraps. I try to just bundle them with a bullnose dog, uh, a bullnose clip. I like the flowers. I'm gonna leave that out, but I'm not gonna use it for this. This is much more of a dark green. I have some of that um, same sort of paper in, in the book already. I like this one too. Actually, I think I like that one best so far. It's very country. Christmasy. All right. I'm going to use that green instead of the yellow. Put those with my scraps up there. Okay, so we'll make a pocket in a pocket. Oh, I can do the whole thing. I can cover the whole thing. That would be fun. So I'll make a tuck pocket. And then a top pocket. Link this up. All right, so what's everybody's favorite flowers? So in for me, I like irises are probably my all-time favorite. And peonies, they remind me of my mother. And if 
feel nostalgic and sentimental about them. This year we are doing a cutting garden, like specifically just to cut off and not enjoy in the garden. And I think my favorites right now are the zinnias because I guess they're already blooming and they're ready to go. My daughter loves sunflowers. We planted a bunch of those. We, um, I think they have this, this too. Get a little color. Um, I did dahlias. Like I said, she likes sunflowers. Planted a bunch of sunflowers. Some dahlias we planted. Some cosmos, which I never really love, but they are good for a, a nice bouquet, a simple bouquet. So we got those. All right. And I'm going to match it up. so I can see it better and you can still see and I'm not blocking you this paper wasn't quite the right exact size but it will totally work for what I want I will ink here or I'll put washi on that and then I put this guy down right on the back Here are some of the containers that we did. Oh, I also like the coleus I got this year. I ordered some specialty ones. Um, I do like color, so there's a whole bunch of those. So these are the annuals that aren't, that we bought from the nursery that we didn't grow from seed ourselves to put in the begonias. I usually do, um, New Guinea and Patience in these, uh, they flank my porch, these planters. But I thought the yellow would be real pretty this year. And I do like them. So I might have to switch up what I do. So I'm gonna put some of these like right on there. I'm gonna trim the, the edges. I printed these off on a computer. They didn't quite fit, so I'm going to get rid of the border, and I resize these. Now I could make these a pocket, maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll be a tuck. Do I want it artsy? Yeah, yeah I do. Quite mid me. Let me find my pin, get her opened up again. All right, anybody have any suggestions? We're not going to finish this today. It is going to be a seasonal work in progress. And then I'll do a little some labels and some blurbs. from all these. And I hope to take a bunch more pictures as everything comes and starts to flower. In this age of digital, I honestly don't print very many photos anymore. So it kind of feels novel to have actual prints.
there. Like that one there. I think I'm gonna make this a, I'm gonna make this a side pocket. This is a real pretty willow, braided willow tree. I think we got these from Home Depot. And I'm hoping they um, will overwinter and they'll come back next year. They should, but you know how that goes. All right, I like that. going to do the coleus here because I'm going to write all the varieties that I've got um, that I purchased here and um, I'll probably do some stamping or some stuff on that. I'm just going to attach this one because the back, this is just paper. I don't want it to um, be too fragile. So this is going to go straight in. Okay. Upside down. So these are nasturtiums we planted from seed. They were real pretty last year. I saved seeds from them. Um, let's do... artsy again. I'm going to use glue on this. So that it stays down. Rough the edges so that yeah, that looks more whimsical. And I'm always excited when I can use washi because I love it so much. And I have so much of it that when I use it, it makes me feel like I should be able to get more. everything I have to put in it right now and then we're just going to decorate. Strength. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So this one will stick out a little bit, but at least it's on purpose. We are going to just almost to the edge. And then I'll trim it on both sides. I said, we're just winging this here today. There are no plans. Kind of a craft with me. The plan is just the journal itself. A little, more, a little more grip on the edge. And it just started to rain. It got real dark. 
which is good because I planted seeds. I planted another set of cucumbers. Mine didn't come up in some spots. I think I'll have enough time for them to mature. So I'm not too worried. And I planted more sunflowers so that we had a staggered harvest. And we are just going to trim this right off. Not gonna make that one a pocket. All right, so I'll get a focal point. I have some paper flowers I'll probably put on the outside in orange tones, orange and some browns. Let's take a look. So here's our cover. Got a pocket. A little decoration. Another little pocket. And then this one we made a tuck. Got this whole pocket and this whole pocket. And this one. And we've got our tape. Got our pocket here. And I'll probably put a pocket here. Let me see if I have any flower tags. Just stick right in. This big floral envelope, too big. These are fun floral, so I'll just tuck these in the pockets for right now. All right, I think we're gonna end there. I'm gonna go check Make sure that nothing's flooding out there or is getting water, whatever we need. But thanks for joining me, guys, and I will see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>